Hi everybody, so today I am going to show you guys the bullet journaling essentials, which I have in my pencil box right here. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a little swatch and inventory notebook that I have right here. So let's get right into it. Okay, so today I am going to show you guys the essentials for bullet journaling. Right here I have my bullet journal and um, my puzzle box filled with the essentials. So first I'm going to show you guys my zebra mild liners. The five most vibrant colors, the pink, the orange, the yellow, the sort of turquoise mint green and the blue so um, right here um, you can see how there's a really really nice two lines two dashes where I can just put this and it closes up really really nicely and I really like how um, how the packaging looks from the front and I just think that that looks really clean and nice so um, what I also really love about these is that they have two tips so they have the chisel tip like a regular highlighter and they have a writing tip and so i know that um these are an essential that obviously if you watched an essentials video before have popped up so uh but i just wanted to show you guys in case you haven't so yeah those um are my favorite highlighters and i just use them for marking things like my sleep log right here um so yeah that's what i use those for Next, I'm going to show you guys all of my Moonlight Jelly Roll pens. So these are my Moonlight Jelly Roll pens by Sakura. Um, I got them on Amazon, like I got the Zebra Mild Liners, and they come in a set of uh, 10. And I just really like them because of how vibrant they are and how much they cover up any lettering, like right here in my Bujo Everyday log. So see, that was a one and you can still see it faintly, but when I drew on it uh, with my blue, which is right here, it completely erased the lettering. So that is why I love those because you can fix mistakes if you write something wrong and then just write right above it or below it and then do more scribbles be um, below it or above it. So it, it just looks really nice and you can fix mistakes with it. And so I've also used that here before I had my zebra mild liners. So um, that, I really love, that's why I really love these because like I said, you can fix all your mistakes with them when it comes to writing. So next I am going to show you guys, obviously my favorite washi tapes. Cause washi tape is like the biggest essential you will ever, ever, ever need for bullet journaling. Because like here you can see that I created my April tab and I used my rose gold one to mark spring break. So that is, I just really, really love washi tape because you can fix your, um, your mistakes with them just as you can fix uh, your mistakes with the jelly roll pens, except you d it, it takes less scribbling and you can also hold stuff down with it. Like I use this one to hold this down here. And then for my weekly for this week, I um, used my gold washi tape to do some decorative stuff. And then you can also use it to stick um, pictures and things like this to your journal. So I really, really love uh, these for all of those reasons. Um, so next I'm going to show you guys my Tombow Hudenosuke brush pens. Um, they have a soft tip and a hard tip. And um, they look like this. So this is the hard tip. Um, and this is the soft tip. So they just write really nicely. And I use them for some random uh, sort of calligraphy things inside my journal. And it's just really, really good for decorative headers. Um, so yeah. Next, I'm gonna show you guys my Staples Aura pens, which is what I use for all my basic writing, like right here um, and here. That's what I wrote with. And then also here I did the main sketch outside of with these doodles uh, with my Staples Aura pens. I have uh, three of them. This is one of them and then I have another one attached to the side of my bullet journal in case I don't want to bring all of my supplies with me if I'm going to school or something like that. I also have the Sakura Jelly Roll uh, pens in white ink which are really nice if you want to add like um, highlights to your um, to your journal, like right um, over here. I did add some highlights in white ink to the uh, doodles and the heart. 
and then the ears of this little cat peeking over the wall right there. And now I'm just gonna add some highlight to the outside of that heart right there. Just writes really nicely. And that's why I love them so much. So yeah, I have three of these. Um, you can get them on Amazon for like $6 for three of them in the medium size. And um, one of the last things I wanted to show you is my Staedtler Tri Plus Fine Liners, which are just really, really, really nice um, for doing your markings for your key. Um, like right here, I have my, uh, my key, and I use my Staedtlers to do all the markings for that, like for orange is personal, a red is family, pink is school, light green is event, and uh, light blue is other. And then I also have my flip out key right here, which is really, really nice for when I'm like in my weekly and I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I write with? Like here, I used my blue because it's like not really any of those things, so I just use it for this. And then also I used my rose gold washi tape for my um, to mark when I do not have any school. And uh, what, the last thing that I really, really love about these is that they become a stand, um, as shown right here, and there is 10 of them, and I just love that they, that they have all the colors that you need, and I just really, really love them. So, um, yeah, that is why I love my uh, Staedtlers so much. And so, also, a really good essential to have is just a really nice um, pencil box, which is just um, awesome for storing all your supplies. And then I also have an artist bag when I, uh, w since I have more items other than this, um, just for basic like miscellaneous items. Lastly, the last essential I'm going to show you guys is a sticker book. I have the Turn Your Dreams Into Plans Erin Condren Designer Sticker Book. So it is the um, edition three of the classic collection and it has over 500 stickers. And my favorite thing about this is that you can just um, rip out the stickers whenever you want like this. And it doesn't rip any of the paper because it's just like that nice plasticky stuff right there. And um, so, yeah, that is um, really good for that. And also, what you, what's a really good essential is to have a little pocket. I just took a piece of paper and made it a little triangle and then put it down with washi tape. And in that pocket, I have my ruler, which is just a piece of uh, straight edge piece of paper. I have my quote of the week card, um, which I put all of the quotes of the week on. And then I also have like just a miscell miscellaneous inserts or anything that I might wanna just put into my bullet journal um, if I need extra space or something like that. So um, yeah, those are my es essentials for bullet journaling. Uh, it's really great to have a, um, a bullet journal inventory and swatch notebook. Um, which I'm gonna show you guys how to make uh, later. So I have my index and I have my uh, inventory right here and then I have another page, another two pages for that. Um, and then I have my writing pens, like my Staples Aura and that's how it writes. And then my Tombow Fudenosuke pens, my hard tip Tombow Fudenosuke and my soft tip Tombow Fudenosuke. So that's how you just, um, that's how you create it. Um, that is the essentials for bullet journaling. So how I'm going to put these back in my pencil box is I'm going to take my largest item, which is my staglers, and I'm just gonna pop them in the bottom. Then, since I can fit this in the side, I just pop my white gel pen right there, and then I take my moonlight gel pens, and I just lay them down and push them to the edge. Then I take my Tombow Fudeno Suki pens, and, um, that is how I organize that. Now at the now right here, I'm just gonna put that and um, my zebra mild liners. Then I put my washi tape just arranged like that and close it. And then you just put everything right there and you're done. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to create a, um, a swatch and inventory book. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is take a small notebook. I have a red moleskin right here. And I just really like this because it's really basic and um, it's small. So here I have my name and my phone number. And then I have as a reward, it just added in so I wrote zero dollars because I'm not giving anybody money for giving me back my notebook, which is just a nice thing to do. So there I have my, um, 
my cover page, which has my name, my full name, my phone number, and my email, again, just in case they decide to open it up. Um, and don't see the first sticker on the front because they like flip past it in the first place or something. And then right here, I have my first index. So index, one pages one through four. My inventory is pages five through seven, and my writing pens is pages eight through nine. So I'm just gonna flip to page um, flip to page eight. So you see how it says writing pens at the top and writing pens at the top again. Um, so that is where I will just put all of my writing pens like that. And um, here I have my Tombow Fudo Nasuki pens. And so how you just add stuff to the key is I'm just gonna take my basic writing pen right here and I am just gonna, I'm in my index. Um, I'm just gonna open to my index and I'm gonna write page 10, I'm going to write Tombow FS for Fudanosuke, and I'm going to go 10. And the reason that I put the numbers after this is in case, like, I have, I, I just want to doodle randomly in a random notebook, I can go doodle and then and then a line and then the pages, but then if I decide to doodle on, let's say, 10 pages later, I can just do a comma and then that page as well. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys, show you guys um, another thing that you can do. Moonlight gel pen. So I'm just going to write moonlight. So I'm just going to go like this. And then my last way, I'm going to open for a little bit. And yeah, so that is how you do a swatch book and inventory book. So you're just gonna have your inventory and you're gonna write in your basic writing pen um, all of the um, pens that you have, like okay. pens and 10 Stadler Fine Liners. I also have more supplies, but I do not have them with me right now. So I just don't wanna guess the name of them. Um, so yeah, that is how you create a basic swatch book. So now I'm just gonna put my sweat my finger over the um, the last one that I did, and it only smeared a little bit at the A, but now it's fine. So I'm just gonna close my swatch book up, leaving this here because I don't really have anywhere for to put this bookmark. I'm going to just put it inside of my pencil case and close that right up. So yeah, that is my video for you guys today. Hope you have a great day. Bye.